Welcome back to our series where we're on a quest to find the very best food. In last week's episode, we went to Walmart and searched all the shelves up and down to find the very best food there, and we found that Talenti's gelato was the very best. In this week's episode, we're heading to Costco to find the very best food there. Let's get going. All right, let's go. All right, we made it to Costco. Let's go see what we can find. I think so far my favorite in the snack aisle are the dark chocolate macadamia nut caramel chocolates. Let's go grab some of those. All right, so these are milk chocolate, not dark chocolate, but they look amazing. All right, so we're here at the Costco muffins, and these are one of my favorite foods. So I was really tempted to get them as one of them, but then we came across these big cinnamon rolls, and I think these are better, so we should get these for sure. I don't know, this kimchi is looking pretty amazing. We might have to grab that. Yum. We decided we should get at least one savory thing, so we're deciding to get this guacamole. It looks really good. We just found this giant bag of sweet and salty popcorn, and it looks pretty amazing. So, last item. We are back from Costco and we have our four foods. I think we forgot to mention in the beginning of the video that we were choosing four foods, but yep. now you guys know, I guess. We're starting off with this macadamia milk chocolate caramel clusters. This is the Kirkland brand, so only at Costco. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna be tasting all these foods individually and rating them from one to 100. All right, so yeah, when we walk through the snack aisle, I'm assuming all Costco stores are kind of set up the same. So we walk through that front aisle that's right by the registers through all the snack aisles. And to us, this one looked the very best. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. The texture is definitely the best part. Amazing. The They have good sized macadamia nuts. You know, Actually, I don't love the nuts in this. Mm. They taste kind of like cheap or something. Well, if you're not used to eating macadamia nuts, they definitely have a different flavor than I would say a lot of other nuts. Mm -hmm. um, they don't taste cheap to me and they're a good size. Like sometimes like mm -hmm. the peanut M&Ms, mm -hmm. they're like tiny little peanuts in there, but they didn't skimp on them. These are good size okay, wow. macadamia nuts. And, and great size candy as well, or snack or whatever you want to call this. Mm -hmm. Good chocolate, good nut, good car <clears throat> caramel flavor. I love everything about this except for the nut. Darn, the not too bad. macadamia nut isn't horrible, it's just not the best. If that was dark chocolate, I would probably like it even better because I'm a bigger dark chocolate fan. Mm -mm. But that's still an excellent candy. Let's go 100. I really like it, but it's definitely not like extremely amazing or anything. So yeah. I'm going to give that uh, an 82. 82? Yeah. That seems pretty amazing to me. I'm going to give it a 71. You're a skimper. No, the nuts aren't a great. skimper on uh, ratings. <laughs> All right, so we're having a little discussion here about what the middle of the rating should be, like a 50. And I'm saying a 50 should be a piece of bread because no a way. piece of bread is like not like amazing, doesn't taste amazing, but it 50? also doesn't taste gross. 50 out of 100, no yeah. way it should be that high. I would give a piece of bread like, I mean, unless it's a really amazing piece of bread, I'm just talking like, store-bought slice of like white or wheat bread. I'm giving that like a 20 or a 25. Okay, I guess the way I see it is anything under 50 is like starting to get like not good and anything over 50 is like good and Maybe I better. do it more based off of like the excitingness of the food. Like one singular piece of bread, it probably doesn't taste bad, but there's nothing exciting about it at all. All right, well, so now you know how we're doing our own individual ratings here. 50 is a piece of bread for me, and for him, it's like a 25. Yeah. All right, what's our next item here? Oh, we've got this uh, guacamole. Here's the packaging. All right, so we've got this holy guacamole, and as you saw from earlier, we chose this because we kind of feel like we have to have at least one like more savory type of food. Mm -hmm. And this one looked really good. The reason why, at least I picked it, I didn't really talk to you about this, is because this is a, uh, what's it called? Chunky. I'm just ready to eat this. Well, you just can start eating it. Doesn't look super chunky to me. It does look good though. I like guacamole a lot. You know what? I thought this said chunky on it. There must have been another one right next to it that and said also, I don't know chunky. about the, the actual food, but the name gets a 10 out of 10 for me. Holy guacamole, that is pretty cool. Yep, it is chunky. Okay, I guess it doesn't say it, but the picture looked like it, and <laughs> there are definitely chunks of avocado mm -hmm. in there. Can't really go wrong with that. I mean, there's- That's good. There's nothing too, too special about it. It doesn't have like tomatoes. It is a good or, guacamole. <clears throat> it is really good. Sometimes you get a guacamole and it just kind of tastes cheap and gross, but- Oh yeah. 
This that is, is like real It tastes really avocado. fresh, actually. It tastes really fresh. And there are chunks in there, which I like that. I like chunks. Some mm -hmm. people like their stuff really smooth, but I like chunks. So that's good stuff. Got the right amount of uh, seasoning, salt and whatnot. Um, it's not too strong, mm. not too mild. Yeah. So now I have to figure out how I'm doing my scale again. Because in terms of guacamoles, I think this is pretty high up there. So I was thinking like, okay, maybe I'll give this around an 80. But I gave that one a 71, our last uh, chocolate candy. And I don't know if I like this as much as chocolate and caramel. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm gonna give this. I don't think I could rate it as high as the macadamia nut mm -hmm. chocolates. Even though I so, do wanna keep eating it. I know, it is kind of addicting. Um, one of my favorite types of foods. So <clears throat> I'm gonna give this uh, a 79. 79, and you gave the last one an 82. I kind of feel bad about that. I think it should be higher. But... I know, and I'm gonna have to give it lower than a 71, which I feel really <laughs> bad about. But yeah, not as good as the chocolate and caramel candy. So I guess I'll have to give it like a 66. Okay. Sorry, guacamole. Up next, we've got these amazing looking cinnamon rolls. This is a Costco, so Kirkland brand. And uh, this is our second one of the day. Mm-hmm. Second uh, Kirkland yes. food, you mean? Yeah. I am uh, really looking forward to eating these. This looks super good, and they got a lot of frosting on there, which I like. Okay, this first one is an edge bite. I'm not sure if that's gonna be as good as the interior. Mm. <laughs> so I'm gonna have one of each before I make a decision. Okay, that frosting is amazing. Mm. The texture of it mm -hmm. and that creamy, mm. sugary taste. And even the edge of that was th really soft. The cinnamon yeah. roll is really soft and moist. So mm. still gonna take an inside piece and see what that's like. Dang, yeah, I'm gonna have to cheat too. I'm going like right to the middle here. <laughs> right in the middle. And I'm just gonna <laughs> carve out a bite. <laughs> I think we just need to like eat a whole cinnamon roll each. Yeah. This is a pack of 12. Um, it says, it calls them pull apart cinnamon rolls. So they're kind of a Ooh. small ones, but the is frosting, that like a really good spot? Yes, the frosting is even better in that bite. Probably because there's a lot of it right oh, there. Oh man, <laughs> the cream cheese flavor in the frosting really comes mm -hmm. through. Mm -hmm. And that they're is nice excellent. and soft and... And also, okay, I don't, maybe this isn't cheap, but it mm -hmm. seemed kind of cheap to me for uh, 12 cinnamon rolls, and this is a pretty, pretty big pan. It it's was only $7. Very good value for these, yep. And they're excellent. <clears throat> wow. Well, the, what do you call this? The topping? The frosting? The frosting, there you go. The <laughs> frosting definitely makes these cinnamon rolls. Um, the cinnamon roll itself is good. It's, it's like I said, it's moist, soft, but the frosting is where all the taste is. I agree. And it's very tasty. And I think this is gonna be the best one so far. Mm -hmm. I'm giving it mm -hmm. an 86. Wow. Wow, I can't believe you rated it so high. It's a cinnamon roll and it's a really good one. Because now I feel like I have to go above you because you're always right <laughs> higher than me, but. Did you I not want to give it more than an 86? I think I'm right about the same place, except I maybe a tiny bit better, like 87. 87, okay. So 86 and 87. All right, last up, we've got these Creeters small batch, uh, handcrafted popcorn cheese and caramel mix. This bag is so big, it barely even fits in the frame. Yeah, we're kind of making fun of uh, the small batch, like, can you get anything at Costco that's a small batch? I don't think so. Oh man. All right, so we did kind of make a mistake. If you buy this stuff, make sure that you mix it up before you open it. Yes. <laughs> because all of the cheese is at the top and all the caramel ones are at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Unless you just want to eat all the cheese ones yeah, first. That works too. Um, but anyway, that's once you open it, it's kind of hard to mix it up, so. Okay, popcorn is not my favorite snack. Caramel really does help it. Okay, so get some caramel, get some cheese. And I like these caramel ones, but, oh, that's a, actually a good idea. I need to eat both of them together. I like I like the um, salty, the sweet and salty yeah. kind of mixed foods. Those are really good to me. And um, these are really good. The popcorn is um, got a good texture, I would say. It's crunchy. The cheese ones aren't as crunchy, um, but the caramel ones are really crunchy. Mm. So of course, this is great for like watching a movie or if you just want a snack, but I think there's no way this is a better food than the chocolates or the cinnamon rolls, maybe even the guacamole. I might have to agree. Sorry, popcorn. I still really like it though. And if you're having a huge party, this bag is <laughs> giant. <laughs> and it was actually pretty good value too. This was like eight bucks or something like yeah, that. Yeah, seven or eight dollars. Yeah, so not too bad. I mean, it's actually a really good price. Mm -hmm. And the popcorn isn't bad either. Just not anything super special. Like those cinnamon rolls. So, were. we went to Costco looking for the four 
tastiest foods that we could find. Mm -hmm. And we picked this one. Um, so did we get it wrong or? I think we definitely got it wrong because there was those Costco muffins that I was talking about. Well, and those true. are super good. I think those definitely would have been better than this, but right next to those co Costco muffins were cinnamon rolls. And so we had to get those right. instead. And there was also some ice cream bars. Um, there was like the Kirkland brand ice cream bar. So maybe those would have been better than something like this, but I guess they did a great job at marketing because they looked really good mm. and they taste good too, but they just don't compare to, I guess, the cinnamon rolls. So, right. Um, should we just total it up and... Uh, well, we didn't rate this one. I mean, I don't think we... True. I don't we think we need it. to because we it's not going to win, but yeah, I'll give it a 60. Know. Okay. Um, see, 60 is just like, eh, it's just a little bit better than bread. Which I kind so. of... A little bit better than bread. I don't know. Well, maybe the cheese ones are just so. a little bit better than bread. Um, I'm going to do better now. I still think it's a good... I think I like it. I'm going to give it a six, seven, I mean, a 78. Okay. So, whoa, that is really high. 78 for this. You know what? That's still a little bit lower than the guacamole. Dang. Okay, you're right. It's not as good as the guacamole. 75. That's 75. my, final, All my right. final answer. Let's, um, what do you do? What do you do it? Title to tally up to scores. Tally. There we and go. And we'll be right back. <laughs> Coming in at first place, we've got no surprises. The cinnamon rolls were the very best. They got a total combined score of 173. That was close. That would have been uh not very good to spill it because then we wouldn't have been able to finish these. Take your time. I can't take a bite take quite yet because I have to tell that. you guys. <laughs> um, second place was the chocolate candies. I don't want to say the whole name because it's too long. Um, and then third place was the guacamole. And then last place was the popcorn, unfortunately. Still good popcorn, but it just doesn't compare to something like this. All of it was good. And I am questioning our ability to choose good tasting food because yeah. I mean, this was amazing. Mm. So we got, we did well on that, but I think we might have missed out on some other things. Well, yeah, if you have a giant store like Costco and you can only choose four foods and you know, you want to get some variety. Yeah. Then yeah, it's pretty difficult, but. I guess we'll have to see what happens next um, episode, which I think we're mm -hmm. going to go to Albertsons or maybe Fred Meyer, um, Kroger brand. So I guess we'll see, but hopefully next time we'll do a little bit better and find four foods that maybe I'll get up into the high 80s or 90s. That's right. All right, this is going to be the end of the video. We hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, leave it a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We'll see you next week. See ya.